What's going on everybody? My name is Flip Trick. So I'm about to start my live stream up. Uh, the past couple days I was playing DCUO. Um, I don't I don't know what it is. I've tried to play this game. This is my third third attempt. The first time was early in the game. I think I think it was in the beta and then transitioned into the the original release. Got to about level 17 and gave up and moved on to something else. Second time I played it was the last June or July or something like that. Got to level 15, gave up. Now, right now I'm level 19 and I'm feeling the same thing. I don't know what it is about this game because I really, really, really want to like it. It has everything I want in a game. It's an MMO, superheroes, cool combat system. I don't know what it is. It just does not hold my attention and I don't like it. I want to because I see people playing it. I'll like watch your videos or live streams or something like that. Check it out, see other people playing it, and it looks really cool. It looks like something I play, but then I start playing it myself and I just get bored so fast. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the leveling in that game I don't like. Cause that is that is one of my big bigger complaints that I can actually recognize. Because overall, I don't know why I don't like the game. But one of my biggest complaints is the leveling structure. You go pick up a quest do a couple side quests along the way, go into some solo instance, fight some superhero, and then do the same thing over again. That's pretty much the entire leveling process, which is kind of boring, kind of bland, kind of repetitive, very, very redundant, just not, I don't know. I want to like the game. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trudge through it. I'm gonna try to get to the end, but I need to take a break today. So I'm gonna shift focus just a little bit, Hopefully we'll go back to it tomorrow. I'm not going to finish the Platinum in the, the 10 days that I planned, because I just I can't do it. We're still on my first character. It's just it's not good. Um, so we're going to shift gears today. Also, yesterday was supposed to be that podcast that I was doing. Still going to do that. Uh, we just ran into some technical difficulties, had some issues along the way. We're going to try to set everything up. So we're going to delay that for one week, so that should be back on Thursday. Let me check the date for you. The 16th. So, Thursday the 16th is when that podcast is actually going to start. I wanted to have started it yesterday, just didn't work out. So, anyway, what are we moving forward to? Um, I've got a month and a day until the new release comes out, which I'm actually looking forward to. That sounds pretty cool. But, we're going to play Final Fantasy XIII. So, I'm going to give that a shot. Not, I haven't seen any videos of this. I haven't really looked into it at all. Just kind of jumping in. I, I'm a pretty big Final Fantasy fan, but I just haven't really, I haven't played any a lot of them over the past few years, actually. I, don't know, I think I think a big part of that was when I was playing WoW for as long as I was, just kind of got separated from every console-based game and kind of just focused on in on WoW. Um, I'd been playing Final Fantasy when I was younger for quite a while. Uh, the first Final Fantasy game. I'm actually getting on a tangent here, but it's fine. We'll go with it. This could be fun. Uh, this will probably just be like the main portion of the video is my history of Final Fantasy. We'll just do that. So, here we go. When I was younger, I had a Super Nintendo, and I had this, just a, like a box of games. And this, I wish I still had this box. This box had so many great games in there. We had um, Secret of Mana was in there, Chrono Trigger some weird RPG that was really, really cool that I really liked called Lufia. Um, what else was in there? Uh, Super Mario RPG, I think I said that one. Um, I can't think of anything right now. Anyway, there's it was pretty much all these games that if I had now, I mean, if you, if you try to buy these games now, they're like triple digits. It's ridiculous for some of these games. Um, but I had all of them. And I really, really enjoyed them. The first Final Fantasy, I didn't even know this was a Final Fantasy at the time. It was called Mystic Quest. Um, the picture, it was like the Super Nintendo cartridge. And then the picture is like a blue background and a mountain. And some guy standing on the mountain holding a sword up to the sky. And it said Mystic Quest along the top. So it didn't actually say Final Fantasy. I think like in really small letters across the top it said Final Fantasy. But that was the first one I played. I hadn't... I didn't even know it was Final Fantasy. I didn't know what Final Fantasy was. I'd never played an RPG before. This is like the first one that I ever played. Really, 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 really dug it. Um, 
I don't know what it was, but I was hooked and I liked it a lot. I really wish I could find that game and go back and play it again because I enjoyed it a lot and I kind of want to see how, how it holds up. So I might try to see if I can find an emulator or something, try to try to play that again. That could be cool. Um, but I played through that, really liked that, and that led me into the Super Mario RPG. We played that a bit, got really into Chrono Trigger, and I started to really get into the RPGs, which prior to that I'd never played one before. Um, also in that box was Final Fantasy III, which I didn't play until way later. I don't know why, but I never really got around to playing that, but that one was very good too. Uh, the next... So I played all through those, and then the PlayStation came out. I had one of those. Um, I don't really remember what I spent most of my time on, but eventually Final Fantasy VII came out. I remember renting that, and I rented that game. I was younger, so I don't I don't know why I didn't just have my parents buy it for me or whatever. But I rented that game probably twelve twelve to thirteen times. It was pretty ridiculous. Um, but each time I'd rent it play as much of it as I could. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Had a blast playing through the story. I remember after you go through, if you played the game, uh, the first, I don't know, it took me a long time to get through this. Going, I think I played it again much, much later and flew through this part. Um, but when you're in Midgar, you go through the Sh Shinra Corporation, the headquarters, and you finish that and then the first time I played that, I thought that was the end of the game. I thought I just beat the game. And then you go outside to Midgar, and you have your little little character on the map, and the, you're walking across the world map, and that just blew my mind that the game wasn't over, and there's this huge open world that we had to explore. It just it was mind-blowing to me at the time. I don't know what it was. Um, I was not expecting that. And I, like I said, I, I'd spent probably like a good 30 hours just in Midgar, which going back, that part of the game is only like five hours long, so I don't know what I was doing, but I had a lot of fun with that game. Um, I remember finishing the first disc for the first time, and spo spoilers for, the, for a game that came out in 1997, but here we go. Um, finishing the first disc, you f do the, the fi I think it was, it's been so long, I think you fight Sethroth or some, he's there. I don't remember what's going on exactly, but I remember him being there and he kills Eris. I was furious. She was my favorite character. Uh, she was the, the way I played, because I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't know she was gonna die, so I had no, I had leveled up my characters way, way higher than they should have been at the time. Eris was my healer character. She had the, probably the best gear I could have at the time. Very, very good. All the way leveled up. I think she had her, like level three limit break. I don't know, she was like one away from the last one, which you're not supposed to have at that time, if I remember correctly. Anyway, she died, I was mad, and all the gear that she had was just gone. So, that, that frustrated me quite a bit. The second time I played it much later, I knew not to have her as geared as she was, going into that point, not to use her as much. Uh, but that first time, that took a toll. And then I had to switch her out with another party member, and I think that person was like 20 levels lower than everybody else in the group, so they were way behind. They just made the rest of the, the pacing of the game pretty tough for a while, because all my other party members were much, much lower in level. So that, that that's why I think Final Fantasy VII, to, to me, is the best in the series, just the emotional attachment I had to that game, um, being like the first, not really the first RPG, but the first real RPG that I played, the first expansive RPG. Because um, I don't, like I played through Chrono Trigger, I don't remember it being very long, I enjoyed it, I had fun with it, but it, I don't think it took me very long to get through. But Final Fantasy VII did, I, I did everything you could do in that game, I had so much fun with it reading chocobos and getting the Knights of the Round materia, all kinds of cool stuff. I had a lot of fun with that game, it was very good. Um, that After playing through that, I looked into more RPGs, played through Legend of the Dragoon, uh, Wild Arms, what else was on that console that I played? 
there was a few, quite a few other RPGs. I remember the PlayStation One had a ton of RPGs. Um, but Final Fantasy VIII came out. A lot of my friends at the time loved Final Fantasy VIII, and I played it. I don't, I don't remember if I beat it or not. I remember I got close because I remember getting through all the discs. But I don't remember the end of it. So I might have beat it. I might not. I can't remember. Final Fantasy IX I skipped over. I played ten just a little bit on the PlayStation Two. I know I didn't finish that one. So that actually comes out very soon. Uh, the HD remaster of Final Fantasy X and X-2. So I might pick that up and play through that because I haven't done that one. Um, get some more trophies, so that'd be cool. Um, yeah, and then Eleven was the MMO. Hadn't... I just overlooked that completely. Didn't even know that got released. Didn't know anything about that. Twelve... I don't remember... I don't even know what Twelve was. I don't know when that came out. I don't know what console it was on. I have no idea. So I, I've kind of lost touch with the series, as you're saying. Um, seven was my favorite. Three is a very, very close second, because that one was a lot of fun. And Mystic Quest, if I could find that one, that's probably my third favorite. But we're going to check out 13. I doubt it's going to hold up with the others that I liked so much. And then I played 14. I also played 14 quite a, quite a bit. We got to level cap in that, and just there wasn't a lot of stuff to do at the end. There wasn't a very very big end game, so I kind of lost interest in it. I don't know. Final Fantasy 14 actually has a free, like a, a user, I don't know what they're calling it, a welcome back weekend or something like that. You can play Final Fantasy 14 if you've previously subscribed and you have an inactive subscription right now. You can play over the weekend. Uh, I guess 2.1 came out, new expansion, new raids, PvP is finally in the game. I'm not going to play it right now, but it's free for this weekend if you want to check that out, if you haven't played recently. But we're going to play through 13, and then 13 too, because 13 Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13, 3, I don't, whatever they're calling it, the third one looks pretty cool. Um, I heard it's more like an action RPG, less, more, more along the lines of like Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy 15. So that looks pretty cool and probably play, probably really enjoy that one a lot. But I, I want to get caught up in the story before I just jump into that. So I've got a month to play through two really long games. And we're going to go ahead and get started here tonight. So hopefully, I've heard, I haven't played the game. I haven't seen any footage of the game, but I've heard really bad things about this. I've heard the pacing is terrible. The, it's really, I think I heard it was linear. I don't know, but we're going to play through that. So, that's the plan for tonight. Sorry for the weird, crazy Final Fantasy tangent that I got on, but kind of kind of brought back some memories, a little bit of nostalgia. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys check out the live stream. Uh, let me know what RPGs you guys have played, what you've enjoyed. Uh, if you played any of the ones I mentioned, did you like them? What's your favorite Final Fantasy? That's a very, very, very big question for a lot of people. People get mad if you don't give them the right answer. <laughs> so, sorry to the people who unsubbed because Final Fantasy VII's my favorite and not eight. I still think three is the best, but Final Fantasy VII was my favorite. So, that's it for now. I'm going to go get my live stream started, start playing Final Fantasy XIII. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and let you know what I think so far. Eventually, we'll get back to DCUO, just not tonight. I just need a break from that for a little while. So I'm going to get at least one character to level 30, trying to cap out at least once. I don't know about this five times or six times to get the platinum. I want to do it. I want to like the game. I really do. Maybe, I just, maybe I'm just playing the wrong class, the wrong powers. I don't know. I should like the game. I want to like the game, but I just don't. So that's enough of my tangent. I'll see you guys tonight, and if not, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.